here I am in Celtics. And what I want to do is show you a few things about it. Now, look down here in the corner. You can see I've been thinking for 6 minutes and 49 seconds. And it just keeps ticking along. And I've written for 1 minute and 3 seconds. Yeah, so uh, hmm, not a great ratio. So if you're going to be doing a conversation for a particular project, what I did here is I start off over in the corner here. Once you create one, you have scene headings, then you have action, then character, and then dialogue. You can also put parentheticals in there. So I want you to try using all of these. And I have templates, boom, that in this project, if I look over here, these are samples that are in our screenplay operations and control project, but also how to write dialogue. And so you can reference these if you're trying to find examples. So let's go back here. And what I want to do is take you out of this and show you what it's like to get into Celtics. So once I log in, I come over here and I'm going to click on new project. Now, one thing to be aware of is that if you have too many projects, it won't let you do this. So you have to delete some. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to trash this. And when I do that, uh, I can now create a new project. Now, if I go over here to the trash, I can get rid of these. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to trash these. Click yes. And now they're gone. I'm going to refresh the page and voila. So let's say I come in here and it's saying, hey, I want to start a script. And maybe I'll call this conversation. Woo. Episode one. Sure. Start creating. What happens is it gives me all kinds of options that I can do that I'm not paying for, but I'm just going to skip over that. And right here, here's my script. So I start off with my scene heading and I can write something in here and it's going to format it for me. When I hit enter, it automatically takes me to action and I can then type that. When I hit enter again, I maybe I want to jump into now have a character. So I would have, you know, student one. I hit enter, it automatically switches me to dialogue. And what I do is type in um, whatever I want. I hit enter and it thinks I want another character. So I'm going to type in student two. And again, just first names would be fine. I hit enter and I'm going to have whatever else I want to have here. And I hit enter and over here, um, I can, it's basically taking me back and forth to character. So if I start typing, it's going to give me a drop down of the characters I've already added into the screenplay, which is really cool, especially if you have more than a few. So I have that option. If I wanted to have something else happen here, at any point I can select something else, like parenthetical or transition and so on. So here's what I can do. I can go select these things and put them in. Now let's just pretend I'm done. When I'm done, what I want to do is I want to export this out. And so I'll come over here to download and it says no changes here. That's not what I want. So I'll go over here to options and print PDF. So I go like that and here's my script. Now I have the script plus the title page if I want, but I haven't created a title page. So uh, that's something that I could create and I could put in there and then I'd have a two page document with my title page. For this, I'm just going to uh, save it just like this. But again, usually I have a title page. That's pretty nice. And then I click download and bada bing, I can download it. Once you have the PDF file, you can upload it to your blog. That'll work. And uh, let's get back out of here. How do we get out of here? Close. There we go. Well, welcome to Celtics. And I'm just going to go back here and look at what I have. Here's this project. As you saw earlier, we can only have three. That's fine. At this point for the free account, that's going to work for us to do what we want to do. All right. And that is it.